Looking for a nice place to swim? Well, it's definitely not one of these places. Like this pristine beach fraught with strong riptides, to this beach in Australia where killers swim in the thousands. But first, here's a deadly dive spot that refuses to relinquish her victims. Number 15. The Blue Hole, Egypt Nicknamed the Diver's Cemetery, this submarine sinkhole may very well be the most dangerous diving site on the planet. The big attraction for daring divers is the Arch, a passageway to open water set 184 feet down. A dangerous depth considering recreational divers don't go beyond 131 feet in any body of water. When divers reach such great depths, nitrogen narcosis can alter judgment, cause disorientation, and even result in loss of consciousness. In this case, many divers are affected and miss the opening of the arch, continuing to descend to their death. It's estimated somewhere between 130 and 200 divers have lost their lives attempting this challenge in the last 15 years. And the hole is littered with their dive equipment and, yes, their bodies. The death toll here is so high, the nearby beach actually resembles a cemetery, full of stones commemorating some of those lost in the hole. Number 14. Hanakapiai Beach, Hawaii Hawaii is an island paradise, so it just follows that there will be a lot of beautiful beaches there. However, make sure to think twice if anybody invites you to go surfing at Hanakapiai Beach. Full of dangerous riptides, this beach will pull unlucky swimmers out into the open sea. This beautiful beach that boasts of bright golden sands has claimed over 80 lives to date. And among those who died there, 15 bodies have never yet been recovered. It's not that people don't know how dangerous this stretch of water is. In fact, there are numerous signs warning swimmers and surfers of the dangers and the deaths in this place. But people seem to be drawn to the beauty of the place despite the risks. Number 13. Lake Karacheya, Russia Lake Karacheya is a small lake in the southern Ural Mountains of Russia, which from 1951 to 1953 was used as a dumping site for radioactive waste from Chelyabinsk-65, a nuclear waste storage and processing plant. Yes, this lake is radioactive, and despite what comics have told us for years, taking a dip in what is essentially radioactive sludge will not give you superpowers. This place is so radioactive, a person will die just by standing near the lake for an hour. Number 12. Kipu Falls, Hawaii Kipu Falls is a scenic and majestic little hidden spot, making it a favorite swimming place for many people. And people don't seem to mind the fact that many have already drowned there, mostly those who are brave or stupid enough to jump from the top of the falls into the pool of blue-green water 20 feet below. It's not the fall or the impact with the water that kills them. In fact, most of the deaths happened when the divers were already swimming to the shore, only to be pulled to their deaths by strong currents. It's been speculated that there may be a strong whirlpool current inside the swimming hole, prompting authorities to push for significant restrictions on the site, with the Tourism Bureau pushing for guidebooks to remove all references to the place. Number 11. Lake Chagan, Kazakhstan Lake Chagan is a man-made lake, but it's not your ordinary man-made lake. Forgoing the usual fare of excavators digging for months, the Russians created this lake instantly by detonating a 140 kiloton nuclear bomb placed in a hole 584 feet deep in the dry bed of the Chagan River. The massive explosion created a crater 1,300 feet across and 330 feet deep. Needless to say, the place is highly radioactive, so I shouldn't be telling you kids not to go skinny dipping in it. I mean, common sense people, come on. Number 10. Blue Lagoon, England This place's name implies many things, but it fails to impart the most important aspect of this body of water. Swimming in it might actually kill you, which is a very important piece of info in my opinion. The Blue Lagoon is actually the most dangerous patch of water in the UK. While the vibrant blue waters look inviting to someone who wants a quick afternoon swim, doing so could cause chemical burns and infections. This is because the lagoon has a high alkaline pH level, similar to swimming in a pool full of bleach. Good for your whites, yes, but bad for your skin, though. According to Yorkshire Live, Derbyshire police issued warnings urging people not to swim nor visit the area. Still, this didn't stop a few daring souls from entering, only to regret their life decisions later. To discourage future swimmers, officials have resolved to dye the lagoon black. Number 9. Reunion Island, Indian Ocean it may sound like the perfect place for old friends to catch up with each other, but it certainly is not. Okay, I must admit, the island is breathtaking, but the danger here isn't on land, but in the water. The sea surrounding this island is notoriously shark-infested. Now, while shark attacks are pretty rare, this island off the coast of Madagascar has a bit of a reputation for being shark attack central. In fact, surfing and other water sports are banned in sections of the waters due to a multitude of bull sharks. 
Many heed the warnings, but some actually risk it to dire consequences. Many have died trying to swim or surf in these shark-infested waters, and most of them illegally sneaking into the restricted waters. Number 8. Bolton Strid, England This river is charmingly disarming and can be found right smack in the middle of Yorkshire, England. However, dipping your toes in its waters may be your one-way ticket to the afterlife. That's because the currents in the Bolton Strid are so powerful that someone who finds themselves in it is bound to be dragged to the riverbed in a matter of seconds. The current here is said to be so strong, even powerful swimmers would be dragged down to the bottom. Much more novice swimmers like you or me. Number 7. The Devil's Pool, Zambia Nestled at the very edge at the top of Victoria Falls is the Devil's Pool. And I'm pretty sure that just by watching this heart-stopping footage, you'll immediately understand why it's named such. If you look at it, it's kind of like nature's answer to infinity pools. Where it differs, though, is right there on the edge of it. A straight 100-meter drop to the bottom of the falls. Many people swear by the breathtaking views by the edge of the pool, but in all honesty, I'll be happy just taking their word for it. <laughs> How about you? Number 6. Bubbly Creek, Illinois Bubbling like a hot tub for over 150 years, the southern fork of the south bend of the Chicago River, much better known by the name Bubbly Creek, is as far from a relaxing bubble bath as they come. The bubbles are, quite horribly, the byproducts of Chicago's industrial past. During the 19th century, meatpacking businesses surrounding the Union stockyards started dumping offal into the water. The offal then started decomposing, releasing hydrogen sulfide and methane gas that form into bubbles. There is so much noxious gas in this part of the river, it has been bubbling away for the past 150 years. Number 5. Samisan Hole, Thailand The Samisan Hole in Thailand ticks all the boxes that make a dive spot so dangerous. It is deep, plummeting down 280 feet from the surface of the earth. Its currents are unusually strong, capable of dragging even the most experienced divers off course, which also often leads to disorientation. But this place also packs an unexpected surprise for divers, a surprise that can literally blow up in their faces. I'm talking about bombs, and lots of them. In its former life, the Samisan Hole was a military dumping ground, hence its bottom is filled with probably thousands of unexploded bombs. It's hard enough for divers to keep their bearings here, which is amplified by the fact that that unusually shaped coral they touch might blow them up to kingdom come. Number 4. Jacob's Well Jacob's Well, located in Hayes, Texas, is a spring that fills a vast underwater cave system. Its crystal clear waters and the prospect of adventure entices cave divers from all over to explore this vast underwater network. However, diving in this place is actually quite dangerous. According to the Houston Chronicle, a dozen people have already lost their lives while diving in Jacob's Well. In 1979, two young Texans were caught in one of the well's caves and drowned. One of their remains was flushed out of the well in 1981, while the other one remained in the well until it was recovered in the year 2000. The problem with this dive spot is that its many passages are simply too narrow, often forcing divers to remove their air tanks in order to fit through. And, of course, snagging a hose on a jagged piece of rock or getting stuck in a narrow passageway is an ever-present danger. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Now, is it just me or is someone or something bleeding in the water? Find out the answer next. Number 3. Rio Tinto, Spain No, this river isn't red because of blood, so don't go panicking about ancient river monsters or anything. This is the Rio Tinto, a river found in southwestern Spain. Its distinct red coloration is actually caused by the high levels of iron dissolved in the water, making the water highly acidic. Due to its highly acidic nature, it's basically a barren wasteland devoid of life, with only certain types of bacteria capable of surviving in it. Interestingly though, if dead wildlife is your thing, then Rio Tinto is your place. Paleontologists make regular trips to the area, and a lot of fossilized remains of long-extinct animals have been found there. Number 2. Eagle's Nest Sinkhole, Florida On the surface, the Eagle's Nest Sinkhole looks like a fairly shallow pond, but don't jump into it unprepared as it drops down to a staggering 300 feet, crisscrossed with long and narrow passages. It was once a destination for experienced cave divers, but it has since been banned to the public. Over the years, more than 300 people have died there, mostly due to cave diving accidents and some just because they dove too deep. Some of these fatalities were even experienced divers, which really brings home the point that no one is safe when diving this sinkhole. Number 1. Cape Tribulation, Australia 
Cape Tribulation in Australia is a geographical marvel that is known for its sprawling sandy beaches surrounded by ancient rainforests. It's the perfect place for a nice and quiet beach getaway. Or so you may think. Because hidden in its pristine waters lies death. In fact, thousands of them. For most of the year, the beaches and mangroves are teeming with box jellyfish, which is the worst kind there is. These sea animals have a venom that's so potent that it can cause paralysis or respiratory failure in humans. Many of its victims end up drowning as they are unable to swim to shore. Fortunately, deaths due to box jellyfish stings here are rare, which just shows that Australians respect the deadly creatures that lurk in Cape Tribulation's waters. See you guys next time!